Thank you for joining me. I want to show you some of the main features of the 3D Inspection System software so you'll have an idea how easy the software is to use and how it can save you time. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that in addition to our standard and premier home inspection packages, several other customized solutions are available. 3D has designed software for professional home inspectors since 1987, being the innovators in this field. But we also have specialized programs for the mold industry, marine surveying industry, pest inspection, and even geographic specific software for Texas, Canada, both English and French, Australia, New Zealand, and other areas. The types of inspections that can be accommodated by our software is limited only by your imagination. The presentation today only shows our flagship edition designed for the home inspection industry and not the ones I just mentioned. However, they are all based on the same program engine and so all share many of the same features and abilities. To learn more about other packages focused on a specific industry or area, go to our website at 3dinspection.com. Although some items you might incidentally see on screens or menus might be Premier only, I will be highlighting popular features that are common to all editions. The first thing you'll notice about our software is how easy it is to navigate the screen and enter information. Watch as I perform the following tasks. First, I'll add a few items to the report by selecting a few comments at the right. Now, watch me insert a photo. I'll add some more items. and then attach a summary page. If I scroll down within my summary document, you'll notice here information from the report that I had previously marked for summary automatically merged into the document. This makes it a lot easier so I don't have to type this stuff into the summary letter. If I scroll back up, you'll notice that client information, including the client's name and address, and inspection site information, automatically merge directly into the document as well. This automates the process so that essentially my document is completely done simply by choosing to add it, and then by choosing to save and exit after taking a look. You probably notice how simple I made that look. Being able to write your reports without having to fumble through screens makes for a stress-free process of entering information. 3D has the single most accessible and functional interface available compared to any other inspection software. While you're collecting your inspection information, the last thing you want to do is trudge through multiple windows or have to click several times to perform simple tasks. With our single screen design, you stay in the same environment using minimal clicks to access the functions you require. The whole idea behind almost all inspection programs is to automate every step of the report generating process. Once you've composed a common comment exactly how you want to say it, you shouldn't have to type it in again. This allows you to finish your reports faster every time. What makes us stand out from all the other inspection software companies is our dedication to keeping the program simple yet powerful. The user interface, the customizable forms, the on-the-fly editing, and the ability to add as many photos as you wish to every line is just the beginning. As this presentation will show you, 3D is more than just a report writer, but is a powerful, customizable, all-encompassing inspection report creation engine. It is extremely easy to use and produces unique and high quality reports. Let's begin a general tour. Our program consists of several key areas that all work together to handle every needed aspect, from booking your job to delivering the completed report. 
The starting area is Office Management. This is actually where you capture the order when someone calls, keep track of upcoming jobs, and start or access report writer inspections. Your job information from Office Management passes to the report where it can automatically merge there and into additional documents you wish to attach like the summary document I showed earlier. Other documents like contracts or invoices or receipts can also be produced for the job. When capturing a new order in Office Management, you simply add a new job. Other videos in our video channel already show this step by step, so in this case, we'll edit an existing job which has the same screen you see when adding one. So let's select the job and we will edit it. Here we've already filled out pertinent information such as our client, site information address, and schedule information such as the inspector, date, and time, and the approximate amount of hours the inspection will take. Other information may be collected here as well if you wish to. The selections will vary per edition, but additional job details may be optionally collected on this tab. Finally, you may want to indicate the service or services you are providing in the invoice area. Simply add your services to the job. You would set up the particular services that you provide, but you can see I've created some invoice items for residential inspection, a trip charge, and ancillary mold, septic, and termite inspections, along with pricing for those. You'd add the items appropriate for your business. In this case, for this job, you'll see we upsold our client a pest inspection along with their main inspection. If your client has prepaid for your inspection, simply mark the job paid and use the print or email options to produce a paid receipt. Once basic job information is saved, you're ready to actually start your inspection. I can use the options on the right pane next to my job information to start a new inspection. Using free Cloud 3D services provided to subscribers, I could either send a report to my mobile device using the Create and Upload Mobile Inspection option, or I can create a non-mobile report right here in the main program using Start a New Inspection. I'm going to do that right now. In either case, it prompts whether to use the main job name for my inspection or to base it on a particular invoice item. For example, since I have a different form, NPMA 33, here that I would use for pest inspections, I would use that item to start that type of report, whereas I'm going to just use a regular residential check style inspection to create my main inspection using the main job name. 3D lets you easily attach more than one report to the same job this way. Any unneeded job names listed here may simply be ignored. So let's start our inspection. Now my report is open with job information automatically merged from Office Management right into my screen. This is great as I don't have to retype that information again. Now that we're in the report writer, let's take a look at some of its features. You'll notice this is a single screen design. So I can view my entire report input screen by scrolling up and down. I can jump to any main section of the report or form by using the form buttons here. I can instantly get to a particular heading by double tapping the current form and selecting the desired heading. If I want to, I can turn on a list view which allows me to scroll through all of the headings and subheadings and see them at a glance. And of course, this pane is adjustable. As you can see, it's easy to jump around to the exact spot you want in a report. For the most part, filling out my report is going to be a matter of checking boxes over here. These are my narratives. I just select comments, 
move to the next item, select more, and so on. Let me show you how to add a new pre-written comment to an item. First, I'll type my new comment in the report field. Then I'll highlight it. Now I'll click Add and give my comment an abbreviation. Decide where I want it in the list or if I do nothing it will go to the bottom. And now my new item appears over in my menu and later for new reports that item can be there. If I only wanted the comment for the current report I would just have typed it in and leave it at that. As you are inputting information you can make certain comments stand out using typical tools like bold, italics, underlining, or color. Watch as I highlight and change the format of this comment. There are other formatting options used to automatically style the labels and other elements of the final printed report universally. We earlier briefly saw importing an image, but let's take a further look at some additional options. I'll use the thumbnails pane here to locate and view my various images. This pane also is adjustable. Once I import an image, I have a little thumbnail placed here alongside my report field. Tapping the thumbnail allows me to view the image and use additional annotation tools. Perhaps I'd like to add an arrow. I can adjust the transparency level, even the color, or use a circle or square or other tools instead. Crop, brightness adjustment, and other tools are available. One can also remove an image from the inspection altogether from here. In this case, we'll just save and close. When initially inserting an image, one can also use the import and edit to automatically insert the image and pull up the editing window in one step. Let's add just a few more items to our report and then we'll preview it and see what we have so far. We can use the preview icon up in the corner of our toolbar. You'll notice company information and a logo automatically were included on my cover. Those were added during a one-time setup the first time the program is launched, although they can always be adjusted later. As we scroll through the report, you'll notice that only the areas we actually filled out are included. So anything I didn't include doesn't print on the report. So you don't have to have a bunch of not applicable comments in your report or need to manually turn off or remove sections that don't apply as may be necessary in other software. If we go to our plumbing page, the area we were last working on, you can see only those items that we selected were actually included. Just another example of the built-in automation so you don't have to do extra work. We close our preview. There are also page setup options that let us easily universally change the printing styles for the report elements. Let's take a quick look. We can go to File, Page Setup. For example, this is the styles for the form name. If you remember from the preview, it had a silver background with black text. I can change these items or even adjust whether lines appear above or below and other aspects. Let's change our background color to red. And why don't we make our text 
yellow. We can change margins and other items for this type of form element. There are tabs for all of the different elements that make up your final report. When you adjust these items, it adjusts all those labels universally. This makes it a snap to quickly customize my look. I can also specify whether I want this type of item to automatically start on a new page or simply continue after the preceding section to save space. Now that we've made these changes to just the form name, let's save and preview again and see how those changes took effect. We'll do a fast preview of just the current form. Now you see that the form name has the red background with the yellow text, that change that we made. And that change would be made universally throughout the whole report for form names if I had other sections filled out. Other report elements can of course be adjusted similarly. Let's go back to the report. Let's look at Add Copy Options. We have options to add a heading below a current heading, add a subheading below a current heading, and other items. Let's hone in on just some of the heading and subheading options. In the report, these are headings under whatever form one happens to be in. Within each heading, one can have subheadings that break down that information further. Headings usually refer to a room or system, while subheadings usually refer to a specific feature or component in a room or system. Suppose we encounter a new item that isn't set up in our form. We can add a new heading. and even decide whether the newly added item should only be part of this report or whether it should become a permanent addition to your inspection forms. New subheadings can also be added for the item or to existing headings simply by using the Add Subheading options. I can also copy a heading, which is handy to replicate a section, such as when you have an extra bathroom or another area to inspect. Let's see that in action. For example, suppose we have an electrical service, and we have a secondary service, and we wanted to copy this section. We could use Add Copy, and we could use Copy the Current Heading, and we will adjust our name. And you'll notice it's replicated, including all of the subheadings and the narrative comments for that whole area. How handy is that? Now if we want to change any of the section names while working, we can easily tap those items to change them. See how simple it is to adjust your report while you're working on it. I also want to mention bookmarks. Bookmarks are a visual reminder to look at something again later before completing your report. A bookmark toolbar is provided to easily manage these. We can add a bookmark to an area and then later easily flip through these bookmarks to finish up before completing your report. Or I can use navigational tools and some of the options to jump through only items that have been inspected or items not inspected to make sure I haven't overlooked anything in my report. This form group is set up to automatically use ratings to mark or flag items for summary. I have my various ratings for items that are okay or acceptable, those that are marginal or need normal maintenance, or need repair or replacement. A definition for these was provided in the beginning of the report. These ratings, of course, are customizable 
to what you'd like them to be. In this case, this form group is set to automatically send any items flagged as repair or replacement items to the summary. So after I mark all my items needing repair, I can simply attach my summary and those items automatically merged in as you saw demonstrated earlier. We can also easily open the master summary template to make modifications. Most editions will usually have a shortcut action set up for attaching a summary in the actions pane and another one for conveniently editing the master documents. Simply tapping on the action brings up the item in question. This is where one can see merge fields that were set up to automatically merge specific information for whatever job you are currently working on. We're going to simply close out of this. But this brings us to one of the most versatile features of the program, the Actions pane. Actions are designed to list common tasks you might perform and simplify them down to a single tap. The list of preset actions may vary depending on addition content, but as an example, let's take a look at some of the kind of actions that happen to be set up in my program. Some of the actions here are designed to switch between various areas of the program. For instance, perhaps I needed to book a new job while working in the report writer. I could easily switch back to office management and then return to my report when I'm done. There are other actions that can instantly change the way my screen looks for easy entry of information or perhaps entering photos quickly. And those are things that you can set up and decide on your own how they will look. I've got actions to add additional forms to my report. I've got actions to add a number of diagrams to my report. And of course we discussed the actions to finalize an inspection by adding addi additional documents such as a summary or contract and uh, to edit the master documents. Some of these are organized under categories to make them easier to drill down into. Other actions may provide for links to websites or other handy resources or to launch certain things like custom print layouts. You can learn more about adding your own custom actions in our tips articles and videos. Although many items can easily be added to your master forms for future use right while you're working on your inspections as we saw earlier, the 3D inspection system also includes a comprehensive custom form studio utility. This can be accessed by an action if one is available or by using the file custom form studio option in the report writer. The custom form studio lets you modify every aspect of your form groups and their arrangements including adding or removing items that you inspect, rearranging them, as well as creating brand new forms from scratch if you like. A number of free add-on forms for specific purposes are also available for download from our website. The program also has help screens for each main area of the program you're working in, but includes a main help desk panel on the opening screen. Let's close our report to return to that area using the file menu. If a particular job is displayed in the right hand pane, as ours is now, simply back out of that area to return to the preceding menu by tapping on it. And that lets you easily access the help desk area. If you have a question about using a particular feature and can't find it using the included help resources, visit our website at 3dinspection.com and feel free to contact support, search the website, or check for suggestions from fellow inspectors on our online forums. And don't forget to visit our video channel where you can learn further details about some features we briefly touched on here and more. Well, this concludes our very brief overview presentation. There is a lot more functionality in the software that I don't have time to show you, including the ability to email reports or upload them for delivery. The list of features go on, so feel free to contact us for more information and don't forget to try a free evaluation copy of the program so you can try some of the options firsthand. 
All of our editions come with a renewable one-year subscription plan that provides any new updates or upgrades to the program that are released during that time and allow use of Cloud 3D services for transferring mobile inspection files. You may contact us using a form on our website or using the appropriate phone number posted there for your area of the world. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation and found it informative. Have a great day, and keep on inspecting.